Oh, the, and, and I have. I've given my life to the teaching of Bible prophecy, the whole Bible, because uh, it is so I- important to the understanding of, the, of, of where we are and what, what's happening. And, and especially in this age where we see so many things shaping up for the prophetic end times. Uh, Israel back in the land, of course, is the key to the whole thing. And that, that is the time clock of the Lord. If Israel were not back in the land, other things might seem uh, coincidental or something like that. But with Israel back in the land, we have to pay attention to everything that's going on around in the world. The apostasy of the church, which is certainly uh, an end time uh, feature. We see the uh, all the nations of the earth almost like a knee-jerk reaction uh, going against Israel. Anytime anything happens, it's Israel's fault, it seems. And uh, the, the United Nations has condemned Israel every time uh, it has a chance to do so, more than any other nation. The shaping up of the uh, Roman Empire revived in Europe. So many things. I, I see the Gog and Magog uh, situation with Russia and Persia and Ethiopia and Libya all in the news uh, these days and uh, the uh, impending possibility of that kind of an outbreak. Now there's concentration on the immediate neighbors of Israel with the idea that Psalm 83 and Isaiah 17 are just on the verge of becoming a reality, why would we not be interested in Bible prophecy? And many people have come to Christ because of the, of the teaching of the reality of uh, Bible prophecy. I'm a fan of a number of things. I, I love biblical archaeology because I think things are coming to earth that have been hidden. Nobody cared about what was in these mounds for 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years. Now they're digging them up, and every time they turn a spade, uh, they find something that verifies the historicity of the Bible, which suggests that the prophecy of the Bible is just as real as the history.